Welcome to today's video, my name is Colton. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to hide your TV cables inside of a wall. Now the steps and tips I'm going to share with you only apply to walls that are made out of sheetrock. If this is your first time here checking out our channel, we would ask that you would subscribe. These how-to videos are made specifically for you in knowing the easy steps that it takes in turning a house into a home. If you experience in cutting holes in sheetrock and wiring, plan for anywhere from two to three hours. If you're not experienced in doing any of this sort of thing, plan for anywhere from four to five hours. Let's get started. Clear enough space for you to work around the TV so you won't get things dirty and also take it down if it's hanging up. There's a good amount of tools that I use for this project, so I'll run over them quickly. First, a drill. Second, wire strippers. Third, multimeter or voltage tester. You'll need some sort of pencil a wood drill bit in case you need to drill through studs, new cable that you're going to wire from your old outlet or connecting outlet to your new outlet, measuring tape, electrical wiring caps, the new outlet that you're going to install, fish tape or something that feeds the wires and cables through your wall, a sheetrock saw, a stud finder, a precision screwdriver set, and two products are not shown here that will be in my upcoming review video, the actual boxes that I use to hide the cables. Now next, there's a whole bunch of questions that you're going to have to ask yourself, so bear with me. Where are you imagining this new outlet getting its power from? The easiest route for this project is if you're lucky enough to have an outlet directly below the area that you want to install the new outlet. You may also have an outlet on the other side of the wall that you could tap into. Next, where are your wall studs? Depending where your wall studs are and where the outlets lie, if they're on the inside or the outside of the section that you want to install your new outlet, will determine if you have to drill through a wall stud, or if you have to go through a horizontal piece of wood that's between studs known as a fire block. You don't want to overload the circuit that you're wiring to. That means how many lights and outlets lose their power when you switch that breaker off. If it's any more than eight to 10 light switches or outlets, I wouldn't recommend tapping into this same circuit. I was lucky enough to have an outlet on the other side of the wall, measure from the door to the outlet and mimic that distance on the other side of the wall. Grab your stud finder and find where the stud's at and make a mark. This will help you identify where you need to drill your hole and what side of the stud the outlet is on. Make sure you turn off the power to the outlets that you will be messing with, remove the cover of the outlet that you're going to tap into and double check that there's no power. Unscrew the outlet from the box and expose the wires. Now this outlet is in the middle of a couple other outlets Outlets all on one circuit, so that's why there are five wires to this. First wire is your ground. It's going to be a copper wire that goes to a green screw at the bottom. Next you have your hot wires and your neutral wires. Hot wires are black, neutral wires are white. The white wires attached to the silver screws, the black wires attached to the brass screws. Next there's a line and load set of wires. The line wires are supplying the power to the outlet and the load wires are continuing that power to another outlet. I wanted to make sure that I tapped into the load set of wires to create my new outlet. Measure the width of your TV to ensure it will cover the new hole that you're going to cut and start cutting. Make an easy handle for the sheetrock that you're going to remove and remove some of the insulation to make room for your new power box. I had to drill a hole through the stud that's preventing me from getting to the outlet that I want to tap into. One of the trickiest parts is taking your new wire, feeding it through the old box and to the place where you want to have the new outlet. Take your cord and run it through the new box that the outlet is going to go into and splice open the ends exposing the wires that you need. Attach the ground, add a safety cap for any wires that you're not using, strip a part of the end of the white wire and black wire, making a little hook and securing that on the screw. Tighten the screw down and making sure that the black goes to the brass and the white goes to the silver. Tighten this new outlet to the box and now you have a new outlet ready to plug in. Secure that new outlet box to the main box that's going to hide all of your other wires. Check to make sure that you don't have any fire blocks in the way. Cut the bottom outlet where your HDMI and other cords that go to your TV will come out of. I would do this at the same level as your other outlets. Get some tubing that makes it easier for all your wires to be in one place. Feed it from the bottom and go to the top. It's easier to pull through rather than to push down. Feed the rest of the cables or cords that you need to feed through that you're expecting to hide behind the TV. Feed it through the main hole of the box and fasten it. Take your new bottom outlet cover. Make sure the cords that you need to feed through that cover when you feed it up and fasten that to the wall. Now comes the tricky part. Finding the load wires that you need to split into in order to power your new outlet. A way that I did this is just take one of the black wires and cut it and strip it and make sure you do this when the power's off. Run up to the power box, flip it back on, and you're going to test what black cord still has power running to it. If it's the one that's still connected that you didn't cut has power, that's your line. Or if it's the one coming from the wall that you did cut and that still has power, that one's your line. Once you determine what black cord is your line, you can trace that back to the group of wires that 
come from the wall to the outlet itself and you know that you need to mess with and split into the load wires which is the opposite wires. Once you know the load wires make sure you turn the power back off and the new wires that you're trying to wire to your new outlet attach the black to black and white to white and ground to ground. Take your TV, put it back on, take the cords, bundle them up and shove them behind the TV. You can tape it or fasten it in whatever way. I recruited my wife just to ensure that all the decor goes back to where it should be and you're done. Thanks for checking out today's video. Hopefully these steps will help you know how to hide those TV wires behind your wall. If you wanna check out other videos just like this one and showing you how easy it is to complete these types of projects, go ahead and click on the video up here. And don't forget to click on this little icon right here so you don't miss anything. Check out our social media accounts that you'll find right here. If you have any questions or comments, please do so down below and thanks for watching.